A man was shot during an attempted robbery at a dollar store. I'm so ashamed to even say this. Man was shot during an attempted robbery at a dollar store in Chicago. Check it out. Breaking news topping the 10 tonight, a chaotic scene at a South Shore Family Dollar Store. At least one man was shot when masked men attacked a security guard. Our Jermont Terry is there sharing what he's learned on the scene from investigators. Chicago police have been on the scene here at 79th and Yates for a couple of hours as they're dealing with what was an attempted armed robbery when three men came inside this family dollar store here in the South Shore neighborhood. Now in the middle of the robbery or indoor attempted robbery, we are told that one of the three suspects pulled out a weapon and hit an unarmed security guard over the head. As they were exiting the store, apparently a second person with a weapon fired a shot at one of the three robbers, shooting him directly in his chest. But when Chicago police arrived, that person who pulled the gun in the parking lot was nowhere to be found. So in this hour, Chicago police, they know that one person, the robbery suspect, was shot in the chest, taken to the hospital. Um, he is 60 years old, and at this hour, they are looking for the individual who fired the shots at one of the three robbers as they exited the family dollar here. That is very... How much money y'all think y'all gonna get at the Family Dollar? Couple different thoughts here. Shout out to Chicago. Chicago, y'all gotta do better. Y'all gotta do better. In Illinois, Illinois, y'all gotta do better. All right? How much money do y'all think y'all gonna get at a dollar store? Now, you know that most of the transactions is electronic nowadays. And on top of that, everything that you buy is gonna cost a dollar. So now you risk your life for a dollar store robbery, three guys. That means you got to split it three ways. That's, let's say that they sold uh, 600 items that day. That means each of y'all get $200. You better off joining the Patreon and leveling up and getting your life together. You better off going to work. Now you shot in the chest. Security guard is unarmed. He's just there as a visible presence, as a, as a, as a visible person. Somebody else come from behind y'all and say, hey, you, and shoot you in the chest. Now, he on the run. Police is looking for him. You shot in the chest, and everything just go bad. Man, shout out to Chicago. I got I to gotta show love to Chicago because Chicago, without you, I'm not sure that this show would be as entertaining as it is, but we going to come back to Chicago a little later in the show because uh, we got to bring Brandon Johnson to the front of the congregation. Uh, in addition to that, a man over an NYC chokes a woman to death and he never even knew her. Ladies, be careful. A woman was choked out inside of a, outside of a hotel in Times Square. All right, let's get right to the scene and Fox 5's Linda Schmidt, who is our top story tonight at 5. Linda, wow. Yeah, absolutely awful story here. We're talking about a 23-year-old woman. Police telling us that she was stalked by a man that she didn't know as she was walking on the sidewalk here. We are outside of the Plaza New York Times Square Hotel. This is just off of 8th Avenue. It is near Times Square, but it is actually in Midtown. And they are telling me that this man had a long criminal history. Go ahead and take a look at this video right here. This is from earlier today. Now, police are saying this is the... There y'all go. There y'all go. There y'all go. Hey, ladies, hey, you know how y'all be out in these streets and y'all keep saying, I'm dating, I'm dating to marry, I'm trying to be in a relationship, and I met this guy, he tall, dark. Well, you might be running into a guy that's going to choke you to death on the streets of New York. That's how, that's how safe it is. Y'all want to be out in these streets? I don't know, well... Don't worry, we'll get to that. Let me play the rest of the story. Suspect, he is 33-year-old Jaheem Warren when of Prospect Park, New everything. Jersey. He was arrested today in New Jersey by a task force that includes the NYPD and the U.S. Marshals Service. Now, police say that it was about quarter of five in the morning on October 29th when 23-year-old Leslie Torres was walking on West 46th Street by herself. Now, the suspect had been randomly followed Following her, they did not know one another. Police say he attacked her and strangled her right on the sidewalk. Now, at this particular time, the young woman then was rushed to the hospital. Now, last week, 
She died, sadly, from her injuries. Now, police are also saying that this suspect has a long criminal history in New Jersey and that he served time in prison in New Jersey for drug dealing. But oh, he definitely fit the description. <clears throat> he served time for, for selling drugs to his community, probably a former rapper. Listen, random one, woman walking down the street. He spots her, got her, put her in a chokehold, and she didn't even die immediately. She had to suffer through it, and then she died later from her injuries. He put her in a full, full Nelson, get, her hand, get his hand around her neck, Lock it in with the other hand. Got that big Popeye forearm with the vein going through it like that right there. Lock her in. Mm -hmm. And you know this ain't the first time that he did it, right? This is the first time that he got caught. This ain't the first time. I've been watching Mine Hunters and Special Victims Unit on Netflix. And what they said is that this is a progressive thing. That this is not the first time, usually when they get caught, it's not the first time that they did it. So ladies, let me tell y'all, be very, 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 guys got to be careful. I keep my head on a swivel, everywhere I go. Who that over there? You know him? You don't know him? Ah, start putting your hands in your pockets. You got to keep your head on a swivel. I don't know where y'all think that it's safe at, but I keep telling y'all story after story, situation after situation, that you have to absolutely, positively be safe. It is not safe in these streets for y'all. Some random man can walk up. You think he's trying to talk to you? Hey, and then he puts you in the phone, Nelson, no words. Just choking to death. All they see is you on camera. You never even knew him, but he, now he know you. All right? Be careful out in these streets, ladies. And then last but not least, <sighs> argument breaks out at a grocery store. Now you got one dead and one in the hospital over in L.A. We're going to go all the trifecta. Chicago, New York, L.A. Check it out. Your breaking news, a fight inside a Ralph's grocery store turned deadly in Sun Valley. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera live on scene with the details. Carlos, good morning. Chris and Megan, good morning. Detectives arrived here at scene just a short time ago. This late night shooting leaving one person dead, at least another in. Hold on, hold on. Shaking this out. Shake, check this out. Geo Black, longtime supporter of the show. You know I love you, but I got to bring you to the front of the congregation. That's messed up. She was probably talking slick, though. Y'all all right out there? It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Y'all, y'all, we don't want to do this in the beginning of the week. We, we don't, do, do I need to say anything or are we just going to continue on with the show? Because we got a show to get through. I want y'all to lock in for the next couple hours. I just want to make sure that we all on the same page and that we not in crash dummy mode tonight, today. I just want to make sure that we all on the same page. How? Look, look, look. You know, I am a equal opportunity smoke giver. I don't differentiate. And if you are, if you a crash dummy, I'm going to call you a crash dummy. I hold men accountable. I hold women accountable. I hold kids accountable. I believe kids need that belt. I believe that women don't get accountability enough. And I think that men are, are, are really feminine nowadays. And we need to get back to the core of who we are. I'm never going to victim shame. Somebody died. I don't know if y'all have watched too many movies and y'all just completely insensitive or desensitized to what's going on in society today. Listen, there is nothing that a woman can say to me. Don't touch me. Don't put your hands on me. There is nothing that a woman or a man can say to me outside of threatening my life and I actually fear for my life that would cause for me to actually take yours. Come on, man, listen. We need to think and filter through. Y'all got to put that filter on your brain before you put something in the chat and say some wild stuff like this, bro. What do you mean she was probably talking slick? What does that mean? 
Honest to God, man. Come on, man. Look, man, that's why our culture is so messed up, bro. Somebody said, you really think he didn't know her, Anton. I don't care if he knew her or not. He choked her out. and You need to keep your hands to yourself. You can't choke somebody out at five in the morning. What's wrong with us? Are we all right? Y'all all right out here in these streets? All right. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's focus. And hospitalized and a third person, a suspect still outstanding this morning. Take a look. It all happened inside this Ralph's here at the Canyon Plaza off of Laurel Canyon Boulevard. You see the police activity inside the store. It's yellow tape this morning. Police say one of the victims shot the suspects acting in self-defense. Let's get you over to some pictures shot overnight. Authorities say it was around 1140 p.m. when two men were inside the Ralphs. A few minutes later, they were approached by three suspects. A verbal argument quickly escalated to a physical fight between the two groups, and that's when one of the victims fired a handgun, striking two of the three suspects, sparking chaos inside. Hey, y'all, then y'all wonder why we've created a culture where don't nobody trust each other because don't nobody got in each other's each other's best interest at heart. And I'm still talking about the last story. Then we'll be sitting there saying, oh, woman is too, women are too mean. I'm starting to teach, you know what I'm saying? My daughter and, and, and the women that surround me, hey man, don't even respond to nobody. Just keep walking. Because the mentality is like that. What you mean? I owe you an explanation or you owe yourself to keep your hands to yourself. And then y'all be wondering why women be like, oh, oh they don't want to respond. Bad attitudes. Now I'm starting to see why. And I don't advocate for a woman to have a bad attitude. I actually believe that a woman leading with her femininity is her secret weapon to make, making sure she get out of any negative situation. But sometimes you just got monsters and people have become so entitled. Next thing you know, y'all going to be saying, well, I spoke to her. She should have gave me the box. Come on, man. We got to do better than that, bro. We got to do better the store among employees and those shoppers uh, as well. Officers then learned one of the suspects was eventually taken to Pacifica Hospital just a few minutes away by an unknown person. Officers attempted CPR on that man, but investigators say he died at the scene. A second suspect was also transported now in stable condition after being shot in the leg. He is in police custody as well. The third suspect ran away from the scene, still at large this morning. Investigators have very little information about him. He's only described as a man who's in his 20s. The two initial victims were not hospitalized. How this all started and why, that's still a mystery that uh, police are trying to solve. They don't know if this was gang-related. Police. Hey, man, listen, don't be out here arguing in the streets with nobody. That's the moral of the story because everybody's strapped. I know everybody thinks that they tough. Everybody want to throw hands. Everybody took boxing classes. The only reason you need to be taking boxing lessons is if you're trying to lose some weight and you're trying to have it as a sport. If you're taking boxing lessons in order to square up, I hope you can punch through bullets because everybody's strapped, including me. Everybody's strapped. I'm not about to be arguing with you, man. I ain't never going to see you again in my life. Don't feel the need to have to prove yourself to people you're never going to see again in your life. Me, as a public figure. I seen somebody in the comments one time and they said, yeah, man, I seen Anton in his white Porsche and I ice grilled him and he just pulled off. I was thinking to myself, first of all, I ain't never seen nobody ice grilling me in my Porsche, right? Secondly, nigga, what is you ice grilling me for? Do you don't even know me? Of course I pulled off. Hey, man, look at that crash dummy. He ain't got nothing to lose. He ain't even got no bumper on the front of his car. And he poor. And his windows is dirty. I don't want to talk to him. He looked like a demon in that car. Yeah, I'm probably going to pull off. If that did happen, I'm probably going to pull off. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, man. I, said, I, I couldn't believe it. I read it in the comments one time. A guy said, man, I pulled up on Anton in Detroit, and he was in his Porsche, and I ice grilled him, and he didn't do nothing back. What you want me to do? How, how should I handle that? How should I handle that outside of making sure that I get back home to my family? Because I don't even know you. You don't got no bumper on your car. The windows is dirty. It look like it's smoke in there. I can smell the trees from a mile away. And the chances are that the police is going to pull you over before I ever get out the car anyway. So let them handle you and take you to prison because I'm sure you already got a record. People used to be getting mad at me when we was doing Fight Club and they would say, yeah, man, uh, 
I pull up on you. I was in your city. I asked around and didn't nobody know you. What? What is that supposed to mean? Am I supposed to be like, hey, everybody, <laughs> you want me to take out a billboard? 